Corporate Affairs, Mr. Ronald Wong. Palakpan po natin si Sir. And of course, uh, the Regional Man Marketing Director, Ms. Carmen Liu. Palakpan po natin si Ma'am. Also, let us call on Ms. Jennifer C., the General Manager of Sisu International. Let us also call on Ms. Marinelle Montaliana from Kaisahang Buhay Foundation. And of course, our media friends. Good morning, everyone. I am Erin, and I'm going to be your host for today. On behalf of Lee Kum Ki, thank you for joining us. And to formally open our uh, event for today, may we call on Ms. Carmen Liu and Mr. Ronald Wong from Lee Kum Ki to tell us more about uh, the purpose of this uh, day's event and of course, Lee Kum Ki. Okay, um, good morning, the member of the media and, um, and uh, friends from the Kui Saham Buhai Foundation as well as the general managers of uh, Su Sai, Sai Su International and the friends from Lee Kum Ki as well. So as you already know, we are going to treat the 150 children from the foundation uh, for a fun day for this today. So uh, with the missions of the promoting Chinese cuisine worldwide, we are uh, guided by the corporate principle of the benefiting the community as well as the thinking others' interests. So we have been working with other association, union, and partner with the local community to promoting Chinese culinary arts as well as the Chinese cuisine worldwide. So. Um, this is one of the signature program, and we think that this is a um, very good program that we can build the local uh, community and then to benefit into the uh, local uh, children. So um, it has been establishing a long-term relationship with us in Philippines for Lee Kum Ki. Even though we are establishing our company in China, they back to 128 years ago. So Lee Kum Ki has been part of the community for a long time. So um, we would like to take this time to give back to the community. And then the children need the most nourishment, and we are taking these chances to give them fun and grow them in a healthy and happily way. So I pass it to uh, my colleagues, Carmen, to continue the speech, and thank you, everyone. With by thanking you all, accepting our invitation for this special treat this afternoon. It's a special screening of Kung Fu Panda 3. We highlighted fun and games for 150 children from KBF, yeah, Kai Hassan uh, Buhan Foundation. Yeah. So it, uh, as an extra treat, you all will be served by our specially created siu pao with our Lee Kam Ki Panda brand oyster sauce. Yeah. Um, as a representative from Lee Kam Ki, allow me to introduce ourselves uh, more. Um, rather than yeah, just know Lee Kam Ki, this is a good food and delicious food. Yeah. The secret behind it um, is oyster sauce is invented uh, in Guangdong province by Mr. Lee Kam Seung. Uh, it was then, um, actually, if uh, continue by set up Lee Kam Ki in uh, 1888, yeah. Then, um, if I would like to say that actually, our Lee Kam Ki oyster sauce is the best in the world, yeah, because we are the one that invented it, yeah. And we are also proud to say that um, it has become the must-have ingredient in today's Asian cooking, yeah. and today's. Uh, Lee Kam Ki is headquartered in Hong Kong with five production centers in uh, Singhui, Guang, uh, Huangpu, and Hong Kong in China, as well as Malaysia and uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. So the Lee Kam Ki group now, we have over uh, 220 varieties of sauces and condiment, and it went to across 130 countries uh, across the five continents. And in the Philippines, we are working closely with our sole distributor, Sisu International, to exclusively distribute and market Lee Kam Ki product nationwide. Yeah. With that, I would like to conclude my uh, brief introduction. And thanks again for your um, coming. And please enjoy and have fun later. 
Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Carmen and Mr. Ron. All right, and now to tell us more about the chosen charitable institution by Lee Kum Ki, let us all welcome Ms. Marinelle Montaliana from KBF or Kaisahang Buhay Foundation. Palakpakan po natin si Ma'am. Maganda umaga po sa ating lahat. Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank you for selecting our organization. Our organization, Kaisahang Buhay Foundation, established in 1975. So uh, now, 2016 is our 41st, anniversary, uh, 41st year of serving the children, families, and communities, and especially those women. Our programs and services are uh, local adoption and inter-country adoption. We are placing abandoned and neglected children to family. We believe that every child deserves a loving and permanent family. We have social workers who handle the, the cases. So applicants would come to our office and um, know the process of adoption. We are accredited, registered, and licensed by the Department of Social Welfare and Development. And aside from that, we have foster care service wherein uh, we provide temporary care for those neglected and abandoned children for three to six months while managing their cases, um, re reunifying them to their birth family or searching for families for them for adoption. We also have shelter for pregnant women in crisis. Uh, we help those women who are pregnant as um, instead of you know uh, taking abortion. So um, there is a social worker who helps them. So we provide all their needs, food, everything and also the psychosocial healing of the girl. So after giving birth, the girl would stay with us for one month for healing and um, decision making. We are encouraging them to keep their child. If not, they are welcome to um, surrend temporary surrender the child for foster care. After three to six months, they are free to get back the child. If not, we are, um, you know, doing the process of adoption, either local or inter-country. We also have this independent living and educational assistance program wherein we are helping those youth neglected and abandoned um, who didn't, who were not able to uh, adapt, be adapted. So instead of living in the streets, right now we have 18 scholars. We are sending them to school. We provide all their needs because we were not able to re relocate their families. So we are helping them to uh, live, you know, preparing them to live independently. So if they finish their schooling, will be able to find a good job, then that's the time they will go out of our organization. But still, because they don't have family, KBF is their family. And aside from that, we have daycare service. Right now, we have 300 preschool children, cute children, makukulit na bata. Ayan. So, we are providing free education. Uh, we are teaching them the core values of Filipinos. Uh, we provide uh, the supplemental feeding after the class. That's for free. We just, you know, ask the parents to pay two pesos per day for their counterpart, you know, for the maintenance of the daycare. And then, uh, also help the mothers, you know, develop their sense of responsibility by, you know, helping the daycare teacher to cook the food, prepare the food for the children, clean the daycare. And then, aside from that, we have this family and community outreach service. We provide supplemental feeding and capital assistance to poor, uh, poor families, you know, to help them increase their income and sustain the needs of their children. So that's uh, Kaisahang Buhay Foundation. Uh, if you want to know more about our organization, please visit us at www.kbf.ph. Again, thank you so much. The charity program and donation program in China, Hong Kong, and in other parts of Asia. So this is the first time we are having the relationship here with the KB Foundation. We are happy with the KB Foundation because um, they, we are sharing the same mission to benefit in the community. And then, of course, I mean, this is the first step we are penetrating to these countries and then to uh, you know, give back to all the charity and let the children have a more happiness. Uh, um, Follow-up question. Uh, for every country, is there going to be only one foundation you're going to support? Like
like say KBF only for the Philippines, or will you also be partnering with other foundations? Yeah, as I said, I mean, uh, we, this is the first step. We uh, take a very cautious, uh, cautious or uh, conservative approach. We want to really experience it, and then we will expand our program. Okay. So you're still looking for other foundations? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hi, uh, Florencio from Man of Life. Uh, I'd just like to ask, uh, aside from this project, what are the other projects that you will be doing uh, within this year? In, if it's uh, also an outreach or is it also something like something similar like this, like a film showing with the children or do, uh, are also planning other activities as well for this year? So um, this is, as, as I said, this is the first step. We are having the relationship with the foundation. We really need to um, evaluate the overall, um, you know, the experience as well as the overall output, and then the, the benefit in the community. And then, of course, we are in search of other foundation and other organization. We want to help them to build and then to uh, give back to the community. So this is not the not the end. But uh, and indeed, this is the first step. We are having our first hold and then our charity donation in Philippines. And that said, uh, we have been uh, establishing the long terms and then the very structured approach for the CSR program, not only in Philippines, but in other parts of Asia, but also in other uh, Chinas in Hong Kong and the US as well. So um, rest assured, we are sharing the, our, you know, the founders that are considering other interests as uh, our copy value. So we will in search of other beneficial organizations in the world. Hey, good morning, Ms. Mars from Your Happy Camp. Okay, Ms. Marinel Po for uh, KBF. Uh, uh, do you have like uh, permanent or uh, regular employees in your foundation or plant po sila volunteers or how many po yung um, employee structure po ninyo? Yes, uh, thank Human you. Structure. Yeah, we, we are 29 in our organization and we have items per staff. Um, we have six daycare teachers and all social workers and others are admin staff. Thank you. And ano po yung, uh, aside from the banggit niyo po earlier, may mga iba pa kayong urgent needs for the foundation in general? Um, you know, our funding agency is Hold International in U.S. They are providing the 65% of our funding, but we are, you know, advocating our programs and services to Filipino people to also help us to complete uh, the funding. So the 35% that we need, we, we seek assistance to Filipino people. You know, we encourage them to donate to sustain our programs and services. Ma'am, follow-up question. Do you accept mga volunteer, like yung parang manpower? Yes, uh, we have this volunteer resource um, development uh, program. You just need to write a letter addressed to our executive director. Yes. Ma'am, address po nung, address po nung ano nyo, location? Yeah, we, our office is located in Cubao, but we are operating in National Capital Region and yung aming adoption kasi local adoption is within the Philippines. Yes. Um, hi, I'm Jovi from Asian Dragon Magazine. This is for Vitam Key. When and how did you enter the Philippines? And I mean, if you know there is a huge Chinese community here in the country, how are you um, promoting Chinese cuisine and culture here in the country? Thank you for your question. Actually, Kamki entered into the Philippines market in 1970s, back to 1970s, where there's a lot of traders that start import uh, Lee Kamki product from Hong Kong. Yeah, uh, for the especially um, because it's a child, Hong Kong influence, it started uh, among the Chinese community. But because the more and more actually the local people they can enjoy the taste of the Lee Kamki, so they they like it and adapt it. And we feel that actually that is a market they would like to expand. It further, so that's why uh, for the last few, I mean, recent years, actually, we again get um, to uh, expand our variety and work very closely with our local sole distributor, Sisu International, to distribute our product in all the uh, 
modern trade and also general trade means a supermarket, hypermarket is widely available. It can the, so the consumer or the uh, the Philippines will, can enjoy our product uh, everywhere. And recently we just launched our small bottle, 145 gram, and also our sachet, so that we have more people can enjoy our products. Yeah, um, anytime they want. Thank you. Uh, just a follow-up question. Sorry. Um, for Likam Key again. So, um, I believe that the, there are still a lot of products of Likam Key that are, is not yet available in the Philippines. So, are you also planning to um, add more products this year? <laughs> Thank you for a very good question. <laughs> yes, uh, we are, it's all in our plan. We are bringing more uh, products that very much fit into the local taste profile. Yeah, and I know Filipino like foods, and I think uh, a lot of people, they like food. So we will fit into the local taste profile and bring in more delicious and can fit uh, into the Asian cooking. Yeah, so that is, is our main uh, product profile. And we'll let you know, yeah, more is coming. Thank you. Um, just jumping off from his question, so how many brands are really are coming? Do you have the numbers? And how, how how, many, how big will the line be here in the Philippines? We are having a uh, production in uh, Malaysia, as I mentioned just now, not only in uh, China. Uh, China, we have Xinhui and Huang, uh, the Huangpu. So that's why we have, we're adding more new product, uh, not only in China, but also in Malaysia. So it can serve the Southeast Asia uh, in terms of distance. So there'll be uh, more product coming in. And in terms of brand, actually the main brand in the Philippines or the most popular is still Panda brand oyster sauce. Yeah, definitely. Then, but on top of that, we do have a convenience sauces, the Likam Ghee convenience sauces, that within three steps, you can just cook a delicious food with our sauces. So that's more coming. Yeah. Um, so how has um, the Panda brand and Likam Ghee has been doing in the Philippines? Of course, you're not even if you were the inventors of oyster sauce, you're not the only brand here in the market. So how is your business doing here in the Philippines? Uh, for Lee Kam, thank you for your question. For Lee Kam Ki, we are very success among the premium uh, market. So I think so. that's why we feel that as it's the time for us to enter a wider market, we feel that we so that uh, there's more people can enjoy our product, a good quality product, as we are the one that invented the oyster sauce. That's why we come in with a smaller pack size and even uh, 145 gram and also the sachet so that more people can enjoy our product and uh, with a very uh, uh, the reasonable price. Yeah, so that's where actually we feel that uh, that is just where we are going into the future. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Follow up questions? All right, now while our lunch is being set up, okay, sine set up lang po, pinit. Thank you. 
Montaliana for sharing your vision with us. Totoo lang po, Likum Ki is a believer and we share your vision as well. And here's a little trivia for everyone. Did you know that Lee Kum Ki invented the oyster sauce? Tama po ang narinig nyo. Lee Kum Ki po ang nag-pioneer or nag-invent ng oyster sauce. At here in the Philippines, uh, they are more known uh, by the name of the Panda brand oyster sauce, which is there. Ayan po. And speaking of panda, kaya nga po tayo nandito this afternoon is to watch Kung Fu Panda 3. And of course, tawagin na natin ang ating mga special guest. Tawagin na po natin ang ating mga special guest. Mm -hmm. And um, dahil po sa ang team natin ay panda, ayan, lilinawin ko lang po na ang dalawa nating special guest ay from Lee Kung Ki. Ayan, they are the pandas of Lee Kung Ki and they are not the stars of Kung Fu Panda. Ayan. Tawagin natin si Baby Panda and si Ma Mommy Panda na may dala-dalang surprise para po sa ating chosen charitable institution na kaisahang Buhay Foundation. Ayan. Hi, Baby Panda! Hi, Mommy Panda! Alright. Ayan na po ang kanilang dalang Surpresa! Ayan, it's 500,000 pesos na kanila po ang check donation para sa Kaisahang Buhay Foundation. Ayan, um, let us uh, call on Miss Carmen Liu, Mr. Ronald uh, Wong, and of course, Miss Jennifer C. Together with our chosen charitable institution, the representative, Miss Marinelle Montayana, for our... Um, for the donation to officially receive our check donation. Ayan. So, photo of tayo with our special guests. 